So as you just saw in that clip right there, this Toyota Prius that I'm working on is pouring coolant out of the exhaust. So it's probably not what you think it is. So come with me and we're gonna discuss what it is that actually failed. Doesn't mean that it's not a head gasket, but we'll see. So in most cases, when you see coolant running out of the exhaust, it would mean that there's a crack in the block or a head gasket or some problems like that. So I pulled this vehicle in, I put it under pressure here, and as you can see, the bottle was low, but I filled it up with water, pressure tested it, checked all the spots that you would think there would be a coolant leak. There was no sign of a coolant leak. I also got the cooling fans to run and operate so the car wasn't overheating when it was full of coolant, but when the car got low on coolant, of course it overheated. So as I pressure tested, I kept hearing a noise underneath the vehicle and I heard it in the exhaust, you know, like kind of a, a water dripping sound. And of course the vehicle I'm checking out would have one of those anti-theft devices for the cats here, the shield covering it up here to make it difficult to check out. So to get to, to the point of what is actually causing it is this part right here, it's called a heat exchanger. So there's coolant going through the exhaust into this heat exchanger here as part of the catalytic converter. So Toyota pumps coolant through the heat exchanger here on initial startup to help warm up the engine faster. And what that does is help get the engine and everything up to operating temperature much faster. Also, it produces heat for the heater core so you can have hot air coming out of your vents in the dash. So it does two functions. It, one, it helps the... Uh, the engine uh, warm up much faster and then it also helps the uh, with the heater since it's a hybrid where the engine shuts on and off so a device like this helps with the emissions and also with the uh, heating of the cabin of the vehicle so the reason why these fail is you got cold coolant pumping into a hot exhaust and over time that can cause it to uh, crack and malfunction internally so i have no idea why Toyota doesn't separate this part from the cat, but to do this job, you have to replace the entire cat with the heat exchanger. It's pretty dumb in my opinion. I also wanted to point out that it is possible that the vehicle could blow a head gasket because the coolant level drops, you know, pouring out the exhaust and then you drive it and it overheats the vehicle. Now with that said, you want to make sure that you do a little bit of testing and make sure that the head gasket is not blown before you put on a new cat slash heat exchanger on your toyota prius i'm brian Nelson from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching I encourage you to subscribe for more valuable videos like this thank you again for watching